episode, I'm going to be showing you, hi guys, in today's episode I'm going to be showing you how to make a creamy custard tart. These things are absolutely delicious and all your friends and family will love them. So stick around and I'll show you how to make these. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Paulie's Kitchen. My name's Paulie and this is my kitchen. If this is your first time here, click like, click subscribe and hit that bell button. So you find out when I release my next video, which is every Sunday at 8 o'clock, every so often as well. I release a video on Thursday at 8 o'clock, so watch out for those. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a creamy custard tart. These things are absolutely delicious. I'm going to show you how to make this step by step. I'm going to be using the sweet pastry tart base, the one that I used in my chocolate grenache video. You can catch that link here. I'm going to pop that there now. So yeah guys, we're going to dive straight in. Everything for this recipe you will need is right here. As you can see, I've got some blue eggs. You don't need to use blue eggs. They are normal eggs. I just like the blue color, but they are free range. Try and get free range if you can. So yeah guys, these are the pastry cases I showed you how to make in my last video. <laughs> really easy to do, and it's a simple pastry recipe. Let's just pop those in there and let's crack on with the recipe. So guys, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna grab our copper pan, place it on our small ring, and then we're gonna light our stove, just like that. And then from there, all we're gonna do is add in our milk and our cream. So we're gonna leave that on a low heat. So now that our cream and our milk is on, what we need to do is we need to separate our eggs. We've got two large bowls here. We're gonna take our blue eggs, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack them open, just like that. And we're gonna put the white into this bowl here. For things like splitting eggs, it's better to use older eggs. For things like poached eggs, you need to use fresher eggs because the white goes a little bit more runny as it gets a little bit older. As you can see, these are perfect. And that's your last one in there, lovely. I'm gonna pop this down there and we can use this for a meringue or some other yummy goodie. Now that we put our eggs in, all we need to do is we need to put our 100 grams of brown sugar in, just like that. I'm gonna take our whisk and we're gonna connect our whisk attachments, that's one and two, and then we're gonna put that in and just turn it on on a low speed. All we're gonna do is we're gonna cream the eggs until it becomes a nice pale yellow color. It's called whip the stage. The reason the ribbon stage is called a ribbon stage is because if you pull your blender out or your whisk out and you go like that, then you should just end up with what looks like ribbons that will just sit on top and slowly sink back in. So just as your milk and cream starts to lift in your pan, which is about now, so as you can see it started to lift and it's slightly bubbling. If you put a tea towel under your bowl, when you stir it, it won't move around. So I'm just going to whisk that in slowly at first. As you can see that's all been incorporated in now. So all we're going to do guys, we're going to take our tonka bean, we're going to take our microplane and we're just going to grate all of this into here. Now that's done, let's pop that back down there. Move that slightly to the side. We're going to take another bowl, let's pop that down there. I'm going to take a spoon, a nice big spoon like that, and we're just going to gently skin the top. And we're going to take a jug, and then all we're going to do is pour all of our delicious custard mixture in. So now that we've got our custard ready, we've got the fan heating goes on gas mark one and it takes about 40 minutes so that's preheated. So we've got our pastry cases just here, just like this. And all we're gonna do is fill these up. I'll probably put a little bit too much in here. I'm just gonna pour a little bit out. Yeah, lovely. All we're gonna do is pour custard into our pastry. I should have put these on a baking tray beforehand. I'll just be really careful. One, two, and four. I'm just going to gently put these in the oven. Oh, I don't want to spill them. So yeah guys, now custard tarts are in the oven. Gas mark one, 120 degrees. We're going to leave them in there for about 35 to 40 minutes until they wobble slightly. So I'll see you in about 35, 40 minutes. 
So yeah guys, I've crossed the top, so ready to take out the orange. I'm just going to pop that there, I'm going to grab the tea towel and take these out. So yeah, it looks like I won't have made a little hole in the bottom or cracked in the oven. It'll be fine. So guys, I don't have a rack, but what we are going to do is bring in these the skewers. We're going to take them off the tray and we are going to let them cool down. Two, three. This one isn't coming off, so I'm going to use a spatula. Hopefully, I can rescue it. Like, I might be able to. Yeah, I can. Lovely. I'm just going to pop. So yeah, guys, that's how you make delicious creamy tonka bean custard tart. They look absolutely delicious. I can't wait to tuck into these. So guys, do remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button so you do find out when I release my next video which will be really soon. But in the meantime, guys, we'll see you next time. I hope you're inspired. Happy cooking. Bye-bye.